Hello, welcome to this lecture. Here I am with a new series, Need Previous Equation Papers, Discussion of Motion in a Straight Line. The first question over here. If the velocity of the particle is described by v is equal to a t plus b t square, where a and b are the constants, and then the distance traveled by that particle a between 1 and 2 seconds is. This was asked 2016 first phase. So what is given? Velocity which is a function of time and which is a t plus b t squared. And it is definitely this is not a constant velocity because when t changes, velocity also changes. What we need to do find out is we need to find out the distance traveled between 1 to 2 seconds. Uh, uh, now we know that velocity is equal to dx by dt because velocity is a function of time, it is not a constant and this is a rate of change of displacement. So we need to find out what is the displacement and it is just integration of v dt and this is integrating from with respect to time, so now from one time to another time. Now we need to find out displacement from 1 to 2 seconds, so x is equal to 1 to 2 seconds. So velocity is given that is a t plus b t square with respect to time. So now we have to integrate a and b are constants which are given. Uh, here a is a constant. Integration of t is t square by 2 plus b is a constant. Integration of t square is t cube by 3. The limit has to be put from 1 to 2. So now I have to go for upper limit first a by 2 is a constant. For t square, I have to put upper limit. That is uh, 2 square plus b by 3 of t cube. That upper limit I have to put. That is 2 cube minus. I have to put the lower limit right now. So a by 2. For the t, I have to put 1, 1 square. That is 1 square 1 plus b into b by 3 t cube. I have to put the lower limit. Again, it's 1 cube that is 1. So this is actually uh, 1 to cancel and it's a uh, 2a plus this is uh, 2 cube is 8b by 3 minus this is a by 2 minus this is b by 3. So after just to solve this, this is actually no 8b by 3 minus b by 3, 3 is actually common in a uh, denominator so that is actually uh, 7b by 3 and this is actually 4a minus so that is a 3a by 2 so this is actually nothing but the displacement which is asked between 1 to 2 seconds so the answer is 7 by 3b plus 3a by 2 this answer is c we'll go to the next question this was asked in 2016 year, need second phase. We have got two cars, P and Q, uh, which start from a same point at the same time in a straight line. So both uh, cars move in a straight line. And their positions are represented by, uh, this is a position for the car P and this is a position for car Q. And in terms of time, they have represented. At what time do cars have the same velocity? So we need to find out what what time they have the same velocity. That means velocity of P will be equal to velocity of Q. So at this condition, for this condition, what is the time take? So that is what we need to find out. So displacement of P and Q are given. So we need to find out velocity of P, that is the first car P. That means the rate of change of displacement, that is xp of t. So that means d by dt of displacement of the first one is a t plus b t square, which is equal to a and b are the constant, obviously. So a into in differentiation of t is 1 plus b into differentiation of t square is 2t. So this is a vp, velocity of first car p. Uh, similarly, velocity of the second car is d by dt of uh, xq of t. That means differentiating the displacement of the second car, uh, d by dt of xq of t is given by f t minus t square, which is already given. So you need to differentiate this with respect to term. f into differentiation of t is 1 minus differentiation of t square is minus 2t. So this is the velocity of q car. So given that, 
the velocity of both cars same vp is equal to vq so I have to equate these two under this condition vp is equal to vq implies uh, a plus 2bt is equal to f minus 2t so this is t this is f uh, i have to find out what time when velocity of both cars are, are, are same so i have to solve for t obviously so i'll take this guy here and this guy here plus 2t already i've got 2bt so in a, i have 2t common 1 plus b is equal to f minus a i want what is time time is equal to f minus a by 2 into 1 plus a. this is a time taken uh, for both the cars to meet e, meet uh, when the same uh, yeah when they have the same velocity so answer is f minus a by 2 into 1 plus b so this one We'll move to the next question. The motion of the particle along a straight line is described by the equation x is equal to 8 plus 20 minus t cubed. This is a displacement which is a function of time again where x is measured in meter and t is measured in second. The retardation of a particle when it is when the velocity becomes zero. So they ask what is a retardation? Obviously it is a negative acceleration when condition is when the velocity becomes zero at this condition what is the retardation and this question was asked in 2012 uh, displacement is given we need to find out what is acceleration so let me just go for velocity first since displacement is a function of time when t changes dx also changes we need to find out what is a velocity first by uh, differentiating displacement with respect to time rate of change of displacement is nothing but the instantaneous velocity so d by dt of what is x which is given which is a function of time this one is x and velocity is equal to uh, differentiation of 8 is 0 a constant plus 12 into differentiation of t is 1 minus differentiation of t cube is 3 t square so this is a velocity so they told they asked what is acceleration so we want to find out what is acceleration that is differentiation of velocity with respect to time uh, yeah this e have to differentiate this function that is actually 12 minus 3 t square differentiation of this is 0 minus differentiation of uh, minus 3 t square is minus 3 into 2 t so this is acceleration but this acceleration is again a function of time right when t changes acceleration also changes but what they asked is what is a retardation when velocity becomes zero at certain time velocity becomes zero right at that time what is acceleration so we they have given that velocity becomes zero so v becomes zero that means 12 minus 3t square is equal to 0 what is the time that's what I have to find out now so this is 12 is equal to 3t square t square is equal to 12 by 3 that is 4 so t is equal to 2 seconds so at time 2 seconds what is a retardation that is what I have to find out so acceleration is equal to minus 3 into 2 into what is this time that is 2 seconds that is 2 into 2 4 for 3 into 4 12 meter per second square retardation is obviously it's a negative i don't have to include this negative sign i have to seek where is 12 and it's over here 12 meter per second square one more question it's a kind of conceptual question here a preeti reached the metro station and found that escalator was not working she walked up the station and escalator in time t1 so it should be t1 i'm sorry for this it's a t1 so t1 is a time taken by preeti to uh, walk on stationary escalator she, she walked on other days uh, if she remains stationary on the moving escalator uh, other days escalator walking she doesn't uh, move she does simply stationary and the time taken is t2 that is uh, time taken by preeti to reach to to the top from the bottom uh, when she says stationary escalator is moving so there is an escalator and maybe l is a distance from the top to the bottom okay this is fine and the first case she is escalator is stationary she has to climb up and with this constant speed let me say she moves with a constant speed v1 next case she is not moving at all she is stationary and escalator is going from the top to bottom 
right with certain velocity that velocity is v2 and she takes t to time to reach to top from the bottom what asked then the escalator takes her up in time to t okay the time taken by her to walk up on the moving escalator will be so she is also going up uh, escalator is also going up so what is the time taken by her to reach top from the bottom when she is also moving as well as escalator is also moving that is what asked now for the first case when she is moving with a constant speed v1 and escalator is at rest uh, velocity v1 is equal to distance that is the length l she covers the length l uh, by time taken that is t1 i can write this t1 is equal to l by v1 as well for the second case she is not going escalator is going with the velocity v2 which is distance traveled is again same same curve from the bottom to top and time is different that is t2 so this means t2 is equal to l by v2 so what they asked see they asked time taken by her to walk up on the moving escalator that means we need to represent t3 in terms of t1 and t2 because all the answers are in terms of t1 and t2 so we don't we cannot write in terms of v1 and v2 or some distance l that is what we have taken so now we have to find out what is 3 t3 that is a time taken which is distance by the speed now the speed is not only not only pre t speed it is also the speed of escalator because she also moving up and as well as escalator also moves up so this is l by what is v1 v1 i can write it as uh, l by t1 plus v2 is l by t2 so this l l cancel so 1 by 1 by t1 plus 1 by t2 so i have to take what is 3t right so this is t1 t2 will go up and by t1 plus t2 so this is a time taken by the escalator to reach top uh, as well as the pre t also takes uh, that's the same time so that is t1 t2 by t1 plus t2 so the answer is here c We got one more question here. A boy is moving with this velocity 30 meter per second towards east. Okay, fine. Uh, this is north, this is south, and this is north, this is east, and this is west. Uh, a boy is moving with a velocity, so this direction he moves with a velocity 30 meter per second towards the east. After 10 seconds, he, in 10 seconds, the velocity suddenly becomes 40 meter per second. Uh, towards north so towards north so after that he changes his direction towards north with a speed 40 meter per second the average acceleration of the body is so they ask what is the average acceleration so which is nothing but change in velocity by change in time this is the definition of average velocity now let me just assign some direction here along east i have to put i cap let me say it's along horizontal direction and along north vertical direction let me say it's j cap and now v1 vector is along the east that is 30 along i cap v2 vector is 40 magnitude along j cap so average acceleration is equal to v2 vector minus v1 vector by t2 minus t1 that is a change in time so v2 vector is actually 40 j cap minus v1 vector is actually 30 i cap by t2 minus t1 in 10 seconds the velocity changes from 30 to 40 so now i can just simplify this 40 by 10 is 4 j cap minus there is 30 by 10 is 3 i cap so this is the average acceleration which has direction but answers are not in terms of i cap and j cap they are actually in terms of a magnitude so i need to find out magnitude of average acceleration which is equal to square root of ax square plus a by square so minus 3 square plus 4 square this component square after 2 right so it's actually square root of uh, 9 plus 16 that is root 25 that is 5 meter per second square oh i found it here it is answer c one more question here a boy standing at the top of the tower there is a tower uh, height of the tower is 20 meter and he is actually standing at the top of the tower so here he is standing 
He drops a stone from the top. It falls down here. This is actually ground. The velocity with which it hits the ground. So just before it hits the ground, what is the speed? That is what we want. No. Obviously, initial velocity is equal to zero because he just dropped that. He didn't throw with a certain initial velocity. He just dropped from the certain height. So obviously, initial velocity is equal to zero. So we want to find out what is the final speed. So better to go for this equation, x is equal to u t. No, um, I'm sorry. It's better to go for this equation. v square is equal to u square plus 2 a x. If you see a second kinematic equation, x is equal to u t plus half a t square, the problem is with the time. We do not need any information about time when we use this one. We need only final velocity, that is square root of u square plus 2 a x. And obviously, initial velocity is equal to 0 because uh, the body is dropped from the certain height, right? So this is actually equal to 0. So acceleration due to gravity should be taken as a 10. And this x is nothing but 20. So v is equal to square root of 0 plus 2 into 10 into 20. That is root 400, which is 20 meter per second. So just before it hits the surface, the speed of the ball is 20 meter per per speed of stone is 20 meter per second. We have got a nice question here. A particle of unit mass, so mass is one kilogram maybe, unit mass or one gram, <laughs> uh, one dimensional motion uh, such as velocity varies according to the relation. So velocity varies with the uh, displacement as beta x to the power minus 2 yun. Beta and yun are constants. And x is a displacement, obviously, and in terms of meter, as well as uh, they asked, what is the acceleration as a function of x? Usually, okay, you know that uh, velocity is equal to distance, okay, rate of change of displacement. Acceleration is equal to rate of change of velocity. Now, they asked acceleration not in terms of time, they asked in terms of distance. And even velocity also given in terms of uh, distance. So now we know that acceleration is equal to dv by dt. I can't write this one because uh, velocity is not in terms of distance. It is in terms of uh, not in terms of time. It is in terms of distance. So what I have to do first is I have to just convert this acceleration and I have to write in terms of distance. So what I can do is I just multiply uh, dx and divide by dx. Now this dv by dx, here it is dv by dx, and this is dx by dt is nothing but velocity, right? Because the rate of change of displacement is nothing but velocity, so this dv, dv by dx. So now what is v? v is actually given uh, beta x to the power minus 2 n. Uh, dv by dx dv by dx, I have to differentiate this with respect to x. Uh, this is uh, beta into uh, minus 2n is a constant, x to the power minus 2n minus 1. So this is a differentiation of velocity with respect to time. Sorry, not time, with respect to distance. So this is beta into beta, beta square. This is minus 2n, x to the power minus 2n plus minus 2n minus 1 minus 4n minus 1. So this is nothing but acceleration in terms of displacement. That is x. And can I find out somewhere here? Minus 2 beta square, n into x to the power minus 4 and minus 1. Here it is. Thank you for watching this video. And I'll come up with one more lecture on motion in a plane. Thank you.